for me it's really an incredible thing that it's happened in my lifetime. <laughs> Stay tuned for CNN.com. As a layman, I would now say, I think we have it. You agree? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Until this week, the so-called God particle, the key to our understanding of the universe, existed only in theory, but not anymore. Collecting data like this, scientists at CERN have announced the discovery with 99.999% certainty that the Higgs boson does exist, the so-called God particle. Professor Peter Higgs, now 83 years old, who first theorized its existence in 1964, was in the audience for this historic moment. For me, it's really an incredible thing that it's happened in my lifetime. <laughs> so what is the God particle and just what does it do? Well, in one sense, it is the missing link to this massive equation. This is the standard model for particle physics and this is our understanding of how the universe works. The Higgs boson gives us mass, which is how we measure matter, the stuff we are made of. Scientists say without mass, stars, galaxies, and planets would not have been able to spin themselves into existence after the Big Bang. So how did scientists find it? Well, with a massive particle collider at CERN, 27 kilometers of tunnels under Switzerland and France. Researchers smashed particle beams together to see what's inside, effectively recreating the Big Bang trillions of times over and over. And this is what they saw. Subatomic debris, including the decayed remains of what they say appears to be the Higgs boson, thereby proving its existence. But the mysteries of the universe are not solved yet. Consider this, all those galaxies, planets and stars, everything we can see, well, they make up only 4% of the universe. There's still a lot more to discover. Finding the Higgs boson, the God particle, just opens another door. Atika Schubert, CNN, London.